It is January the 3rd, 2020, and there's been a lot of excitement about a video that I made, this is Crypto Big Boss, um, about Ripple and its impending doom. Yes, I did state that uh, Ripple was going to go down. Uh, that I believe that the uh, things that are about to happen as far as the lawsuit that is about to take place could have serious implications um, for exchanges and for holders of Ripple. And I just wanted to take some time and address uh, my uh, followers out there uh, with regards to this currency, I wanted to go through this particular article line by line for the naysayers and the haters. Um, first, I want to state that this is not financial advice. Um, this is just research. And more importantly, my opinion um, and my analysis. Uh, so take it for what it is uh, and be sure to do your own uh, research but let's look at this article it says San Francisco uh, cryptocurrency firm Coinbase is going to be sued in uh, federal court San Francisco based cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase Incorporated is now uh, the target of a class action lawsuit arguing that the company is dealing with uh, unlicensed securities the lawsuit filed in federal court in San Francisco on Wednesday by an individual named Thomas Sandoval uh, alleged that Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the U.S., was aware of cryptocurrency XRP was a security rather than a commodity and benefited from the commissions uh, it collected on XRP trades. On information and belief, Coinbase knew uh, at all relevant times that XRP did not meet the definition of a commodity which Coinbase could legally sell to the public but was in fact a security which it could not legally sell to the public. The lawsuit states XRP is a security and not a commodity because Ripple Company has the sole uh, control over the purported currency's nodes and is therefore a common enterprise for purposes of federal security laws. Coinbase, as a result of its integration into Ripple Company's nodes, knew that Ripple, Comp uh, Ripple Company controlled all the purported cryptocurrency nodes and XRP's uh, success or failure was entirely entwined with that of Ripple Company, the lawsuit states. A node is a computer server that holds the transaction ledger for the currency and processes transactions. The law states that non-security cryptocurrencies use decentralized nodes to avoid a single point of failure and no single entity controls the protocol units just like no company controls Bitcoin. On Monday, Coinbase announced it would stop selling XRP to the public. Hello. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. On Monday, Coinbase announced it would stop selling XRP to the public. Other exchanges are also suspending XRP sales to U.S. customers. Oh my goodness. Coinbase did not return a San Francisco Business Times request to comment in time for publication on Thursday. The complaint comes after SEC filed a lawsuit last week in the same court against Ripple. That suit centers on XRP and Ripple selling what the government alleges is an unregistered security. The SEC complaint filed against CEO Brad Garlinghouse, a founder, Chris Larson, and Ripple Labs itself states from at least 2013, Garlinghouse and Larson sold more than 14.6 billion units of the digital asset XRP in return for cash or other consideration worth over 1.38 billion to fund Ripple's operations and enrich themselves. 
Meanwhile, Garling House said that XRP does not have to be registered as an investment contract. The SEC has permitted XRP to function as a currency over eight years, Garling House said, uh, adding that Ripple would challenge the suit in the courts to get clear rules of the road for the entire industry. On December 17th, Coinbase announced that it had confidentially submitted a draft registration statement form S1 with the Security Exchange Commission to go public. The announcement came with few details as the company did not reveal how it would structure its IPO in terms of share pricing and volume. Founded in 2012, Coinbase uh, Brokers Exchange on Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Tezos, and many other cryptocurrencies and makes the bulk of its revenue from trading commissions. XRP has been rising in value recently and is the third most valuable cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and Ethereum. In 2020, the price of one Bitcoin surpassed 23,000. This uh, article uh, by Ted Anderson, digital editor, San Francisco Business Times, uh, updated December 31st, 2020. Okay, that's just a hand a, a couple of days ago. This article and others are basically letting us see that the potential is there for XRP to be delisted from Coinbase. Hello, the largest cryptocurrency exchange out there is about to delist the third largest coin in the world. I don't know. I, do you really need um, technical analysis to see what could happen here? If even even if they win in the courts, okay, there's going to be just a ton of folks that just are going to run out of fear and I don't blame them. If we were to go to coin market cap right now, and look at where Ripple is, it's already fallen out of third place. We've t I've talked about this in a previous video that caused kind of an uproar of what I think is about to happen to, rip to Ripple. How it was, you know, in 2017, it was sitting at roughly, you know, 20 cents. It's It's been 20 cents before, and here we are, 20 cents again, you know. And a lot of cryptocurrencies have suffered, but this is a different thing. They've been fighting about this. Uh, they've been fighting about this issue for years. Look at this. Does Stellar? Okay, we're going to talk about Stellar in another video. But um, Stellar, uh, basically, if you look at my uh, video on Stellar, it talks about how how the founders of Ripple, uh, some of them, uh, broke off and created Stellar, but. Look at this. Stellar, does it have to worry about an SEC securities decision like Ripple does? Uh, look at this. Stellar has been approved for trading in New York. Uh, uh, State Department of Financial Services is pretty strict. Um, that is one of the biggest signs so far. I believe that it shows that, that, that this is not a security. Ripple XRP was awarded a bit license in New York in 2016. The license was issued while Ben Larsky served as superintendent of financial services. Ben is now Ripple boards is on the Ripple board of directors. They are currently working with Security Exchange Commission members and have been working. Uh, I think it's safe to say that Ripple is not deemed a security. Well, guess what? <laughs> They've been there. It is. They've been fighting about whether Ripple is a security uh, forever, you know, since, you know, 2016. And here we come up here now, five years later, and it looks like the rubber is about to meet the road. 
because you're threatening an exchange with lawsuit. Once they delist, if they delist uh, Ripple from um, Coinbase, if the other exchanges follow suit, I don't know, folks. I think you better uh, go back there and look at my uh, projection. I don't want. I hate bringing the bad news twice. Um, but uh, just wanted to address uh, those out there who are subscribed to this channel. Uh, you know, I saw the comments. Uh, uh, I, I I do listen. I do listen. Uh, we want to turn down the music. We want we want to turn down the volume. We want to uh, we want to basically stay on point with the information. And I wanted to bring this to you. Uh, take it for what it is. And I will see you on the next one.